On these remaining approximately 15 slides of Chapter 6, I would like to um, cover different types of loans. Uh, there will be some calculations, but nothing that we have not seen before in Chapter 6. And um, um, I will go through the calculations, but um, on the exam, um, they will not be anything requiring uh, math. So just sort of conceptual problems on these topics. So different loan types. Um, it came up a few times throughout Chapter 6 that when we deal with loans, when you borrow money, let's say to buy a house or to buy a car or something else, then um, the loan amount should be viewed as nothing but the present value of all future payments that you will be making back to your lender. And because all payments are identical, this is nothing but an annuity. So any loan is the present value of an annuity of loan payments. Um, in general, we can classify loans into three different types. First, pure discount loans. This means that you borrow some amount of money today and after a while, maybe after a year, you paid back, so the principal that you borrowed, you paid back to the lender with some um, interest um, on top of it, so at some interest rate. And there's nothing going on between the time you borrow and the time when you pay the money back. That's pure discount loans. The second type of loans is interest-only loans. Uh, that's when you do pay something in between. So you pay prin uh, principal at the end. So the entire amount that you borrow now, you pay that full amount at the very end when the loan is due. And in between, you're also paying interest. So maybe it's a three-year loan, then you'll be paying interest amount in dollars uh, once a year and the principal at the very end. Um, the most common actual type of loans, at least consumer loans, are like car loans, home loans, that people like us will probably deal with at some point in our life, are known as amortized loans or amortizing loans. And this is kind of the most complicated type out of this stream. That's when um, each time you make a payment back to the lender, you are paying interest amount and part of the principal. So the fact that you're paying principal regularly means that the amount that you owe to the lender goes down with each payment. So now let's see how each of these works. 